Hi everyone, welcome back to Factoryception. Fact Factorio nested factory buildings. I don't know. Uh, so we finally got our first factory building in the last episode. And we have a second one. We're going to place it down. Here. Oh, we're being attacked, of course. No, I have nothing to defend. What did they get? Oh, they destroyed a lot. That's terrible. We have another... I yeah, can build more. Alright, we'll get there. Okay, no. Still, still fine. Oh, did they destroy the gun turret though? I think they did. I have go legs. There we go. Okay. I don't remember if I had a gun turret there. Maybe I did. I don't know. Good news is, as we start to condense things down into these factories, we'll have to defend less and less space. So I have this guy, this is going to be my main primary uh, blueprint here. Is this even correct, though? It may not be. I may have to change this a little bit. This will be our... It will be iron, yeah, okay. We'll put this guy right here. And then we're going to run this line. We'll go ahead and that. And these will probably feed the other way. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with that yet. We don't even have nanobots to break this stuff apart, do we? Uh, okay. We're going to have to do it by hand, I think. Is there an easier way to do this? Not really, right? Here we go. <laughs> We'll take these out first. No, nope, you stop it. Oh, is that turret gone? Oh man. Won't leave me alone. I'm not even playing on that hard. That's okay. We're gonna get it figured out. We'll take these apart one at a time, and we'll rebuild them inside the factory. And then this entire assembly line will be kind of stuffed into the single building. And it might take, chances are, if the goal is to try to get this into a single factory building, or as few as two or three, each one being having multiple other factories nested inside, then it may be that um, we'll have to rearrange things inside the factories quite often. I actually don't know. This will be something I have to find out. When you're inside, I, I think the world outside still moves forward. I think that would be a little, a little cheap if it didn't. But we'll see. Now we want that to keep going, actually. Keep going. We'll stop you and... I think we'll cut that here. Now I want to put this entrance right there, and I think that will line up. Let's find out by putting a little bit on the belt. Did it go in? It did not, so... Now that's wrong. I need to maybe move it down one. So, let's see if that will go in. Uh, iron on the belt. I think that went in. It did. Good. Okay. So the can have this guy feed in here, like so. And that should feed coal in. It does. Good. Done with electronics. Fluid connectors for factories we don't need yet. 
Can't do factory previews yet. I can do assembling machines too, though. Do bullet damage one because my guns need to be stronger. All right, that's feeding in. We need to provide power. Good. And from in here, we'll split like this. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. And that should be it. Like so. And from here, we need we need a underground. Okay. Very nice. And we're, we're not going to feed this outside. We're going to feed it down further into another building, I think. I don't know. I still, this is, this layout is going to be a huge question mark. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Now you can actually see, even though I don't have power, pole, even though I don't have power poles running through here, they're still getting power. Which is good for me, that means I have to keep up with less. Now this may not be the best way to do it. And I may have to pick this whole thing up again, and put it down further into another factory building. We'll see. Depending on how much I want to do. But we have iron coming in here now. Being made completely in the factory. So that's a good start. Now I could feed... Oh man, look at how many. And they destroyed it. Wow. I'm going to have to go handle that. I'm going to have to go handle that. I don't know where they are, but I'll have to find them. Because that's just... They destroyed two turrets. This one had to help out as well. Just too much. Make a bit of ammo, and then we'll, we'll go give it a shot. I guess I can try now, actually. And I just hope that I can find them and kill them. I think if I put down a gun turret, it will not... Is this where they're all coming from? Just these? If I put down a gun turret here, it will help. I'm going to pull some of the uh, fire off of me. I have to make sure it is done correctly. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I'll pick that up and place it right. I don't know why I'm not putting ammo in there automatically. I should be. Oh, well, it got destroyed. <laughs> And I might die. I did not. Okay. We kind of have the situation under control, I think. It's healing. It's healing so quickly. I'll have to see why my turrets are not automatically being fed. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. I hope that's enough to take the pressure off, although I don't know if it will be. 
I did lose a um a miner down here somewhere somehow note to self start with trees I lost that turret so now they're attacking from somewhere else as well over here maybe even further I don't know it looks like I just I just need more gun turrets right more ammo maybe I need to keep some ammo actually inside of my inventory and not on my person maybe since this seems to be the main section that they're attacking I'm just gonna build a few and Get them up there. Oh, I lost a, a miner as well. The beginning is kind of slow. It's only episode three, so I feel like I'm, I'm pacing myself pretty well while also having to deal with terrible, terrible um, fighters. Okay, we can build a, th a third factory building, and we should. Yay. Go ahead and kind of unload some of our inventory here. We have just a lot of extra stuff we don't need floating around. Actually, can't I do this? There we go. I can pick up this and go... Like that. Yeah, that worked well. I don't know why I have all this random stuff, but that's okay. More turrets. We're just going to build a few up here. Nope, not another gun. Hmm. I feel like I should have something to automatically build some ammo out here somewhere. Okay, we're still going there. We're still good. We're going to build a hundred. It'll take a while, but that's fine. Then we'll just get ammo in here. Okay, I still have a lot more to make. Of course. Now this one is getting attacked. I need walls. Can I build walls yet? I can, actually. I believe they have to be made in... Yeah, the stone actually has to be made in furnaces. So, we'll have to run and set that up at some point. That's too high. One lower. Oh, right. Down here as well now. On all sides, I tell you. All sides. Okay, we're gonna have to prioritize walls more than I wanted. I wonder if I could even build a factory building down here to put this stuff in. Keep it all safe. This guy has to be outside, I bet. But that's worth trying, I think. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to have a whole other chain pushing the iron and copper even further down. We'll see. All sides, I tell you. I'm going to go ahead and get some some uh, blocks set up. Some stone, stone blocks, stone bricks. Because we need to build walls. This is just getting kind of ridiculous now. A little too close. And I'll just uh, fill it by hand for now. I don't know how many stone bricks I'm going to need to build walls, but that's fine. Eh? Why would you put a... 
Why would you burn that stuff? Come on. And then we need to make some inserters. Another turret. He attacked. Like it's okay though. All right, I'll come check on that a little bit later, and we'll build our walls if we have to, all the way around the base. I didn't want to do that this early, but man. Okay, good. We're starting to kind of see. We just have a lot of pollution already, and that's just a sad fact. Maybe I overdid a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. We're good, I think. Mm-hmm. I think maybe this needs to be moved in here. Edit this guy, take you out to get out of here. Go. I forgot that I don't need these poles for when I'm inside. It works really well. That's like a perfect fit. We actually get two lines in here. And this will be this will be our iron line, our iron group, and this will be we'll have another one for copper here. Um we'll maybe bring the copper in on this side so we can put both down the middle. I like that idea. We'll flip these and I do I have it like this. This. So they'll feed in from that side. I have to kind of feed it up and through and through, but that should be okay. I think that's... No, that's not quite right. Um, that's okay, we can mess with that part later. But I am unfortunately going to have to kind of redo all of this. <laughs> that's okay. Before I do that, though, we're going to have to fix our walls. Because... We can't have them kind of walking in and destroying things so often. Making sure my gun turrets are still good. Seven. Ten. Not a lot of brick. Maybe I should double double this here. How many can I get? 32 wall sections is not a lot, so let's double this. And we'll start building walls. Let's start down here, since they seem to be attacking from the south a lot. I guess we'll double up. Sure, why not? And that's it. <laughs> that's the only walls that I can build. At least for now. Bullet damage, though, will help out a lot. Because the turrets will all use that better bullet damage. Yeah, we're still burning tons of coal. Plenty in there. Four inserters. All right. We're good now? I think we're good now. We'll keep building the walls. That's going to take up a little bit of our time now. That should be okay. Do we have gates yet? I need green science for that, and I'm not quite ready to start setting up green science. I'll do it that way. Oh, that takes forever. Uh, okay, we'll do it that way. The whole next episode is me just breaking down that one wall. Um, 
Maybe bring it up and over, and I'll just leave this untouchable for now. We're totally fine on production, but a lot of our stuff isn't actually working right now. That doesn't harm us too much. Alright, we're going to let that go. And I'm going to start moving this whole thing into here. So we're going to need iron. Hmm. I, think I actually need to move now that I think about it. Because I will need... I'll need one iron input and one coal input per sub-building. This takes a long time to pick up. Uh-oh. Buildings are being attacked. I don't even get the warnings in here. Okay, walls are being damaged. That's actually not bad. Good. That's exactly what I'm after. I'm gonna have to go clear these out soon. <laughs> Ugh. It's okay. What was I doing? I'm trying to figure out where are these gonna need to input here. We do this and is it would it be one for iron or two? Maybe two. Two for copper. Then we could do one for coal on either side. So Maybe that actually does work. Okay, we can do it like that. And from there, the lines are going to come in on the top. Maybe. <laughs> I need to scrap this whole thing here. It may not work exactly like we want it to. I want two lines to come in. Or do I split it in here? Hmm. Maybe this whole idea was bad until I had robots. I don't really know. That's okay. I am willing to take the time. Not in any big rush. Other than the biters constantly trying to tear me apart. Okay. We're going to kind of build this out here and just kind of think about it. I have one line come in. I can't really split it here unless I move these both closer together, which I could do, actually. That maybe is the better choice. So, how's, how's everybody doing? This is a long time to do. It just shows in the future. When I place these down, they need to really think about it. Which I doubt I'll do. <laughs> okay, so we can place it here, let's say. Here. That'll actually let us split the coal here. And then we can bring in one line on this side. We can split in two different places. We'll do that. And later on, when we get more complex, you know, we have to send multiple lines of... Um, we have to spit, send multiple lines of materials through these factories. We'll be very glad that we have these ports on the back up here. But for now, I don't really need them. We can just leave them. We have three spaces on the left. Do three spaces on the right. So, so we are copper side. We'll need splitters, so we'll build four. This will split the iron. We'll split the the coal. And then we'll have to split it further when we're inside, but that's okay. One at a time. I think that works. We'll need to do something like this. Yeah. And we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get coal up here and iron down here. So we'll say the... Okay, this may not work. <laughs> I think I need even more space. Oh no, I have to do it again. 
this whole episode, we'll just call it Moving Factories. So that's all I'm doing. Now I'm assuming that if I get alerts on the outside, they'll still show up. Just making me nervous because I'm not getting alerts right now. Okay, I think this will give me enough space. And with any luck, I will step outside and half of my base will not be destroyed. And we'll still be working. Here we go. Yay. So we'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and we're, th we're thinking... Yeah, we actually need to redo the second line here. Okay, good. It's still popped up. Although a turret is being damaged. And now it's not, so I think we're okay. We'll do redo the second line to move it up, and we'll just say that the topmost line is our copper, or our mineral line. So, like so. Not as pretty as this, though, is it? Yeah, okay, we'll stick with it. That's fine. And then we'll just have coal come in and split. Assuming there's enough room. Yeah, there won't be. Can I do this? Oh, thank goodness. I can do that. Okay. We'll, we'll get this. I promise. We'll get this figured out. Okay, that should be enough space to split coal. So we need to actually run that all the way like that. Okay, let's do that on the other side. We're just planning right now. Just planning. Alright. Very good. Let's go take a look. Let's build some more walls. 160 is going to be pretty good. Oh, we actually lost some walls at this point. Wow. Oh, because, because this thing has shot so much that it ran out of bullets. That's kind of ridiculous, I have to say. But repair everything. And then to cap off this episode, I'm going to, I think, go and kill those biters down there. I can't really block that off yet. Let's just kind of... I have to put up with it, and we'll fix that later. This is just a temporary measure. And I actually want another gun turret, I think, down here. We'll build one more. Fill it up, and then we'll go try to handle this four stack down here. Uh, I think what I'll do is actually pull half of these out, and I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. I'm going to drop a gun turret and make sure that it automatically fills, because it should. And it did, but it's filled with 20, though. Which I don't need on defense, but I definitely want out there. So we'll do two more gun turrets, and then... I'm going to need a, a decent amount here. One of the first orders of business at business? Business? <laughs> After, oh no. What, what are they attacking? Why are they attacking that down there? Never, never start on a... Oh man, I'm losing my brick. Never start on a desert, is what I've, I've basically learned. Okay. Let's 
something else now. <laughs> it never stops. It never stops. I don't even have gun turret down there. Did they run past this one? Is that what they did? I don't know. I'll give myself 20. Give the two turrets 20. Then I can just plop them down. They should help out. Bullet damage. Really, really good. Can I get even more bullet damage? I can't yet. That's fine. This is cheap. I'm not going to use it, but it's cheap, and it's just something to upgrade. Okay. This should not be too hard, I think. I have two turrets backing me up. This will hopefully relieve some of the pressure on me still. I feel like I accidentally adjusted the slider wrong <laughs> or something. Here we go. I'm going to make sure that I am approaching at the same time. I'd rather use the shotgun shells right now to kind of destroy these. It's just a lot more efficient, and the turrets can cover me while I do so. I see. The magazines get put in my inventory automatically. Well, it would have been good to know, but they're handled. And I have to go ahead and call the episode here because I'm a bit over time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, we do have a Discord channel now where people can hang out and chat with me all day. I'm around all day if you just want to join and have fun. We'll maybe set up some multiplayer Factorio at some point. Some multiplayer Stellaris. Still planning on doing coverage on that game as uh, future patches and updates come out. So yeah, uh, check out the link at the, in the description for the Discord info. It's free to join. Anybody can join up. So please do that. And um, yeah, see you next time.